Hello, Bootleg Bay piratey tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven. Yarg! With me, Blue Anky Yarg! <laughs> Alright, well, I tried. I don't know about my pirate, pirate accent. I have to, have to get those R's a little bit longer. Anyway, in the last episode, we did a little bit of uh, shopping and enchanting and stuff. Kind of learned how that enchant magic, enchant item spell worked for Dawes. I think I've got the hang of it now. So that's nice. We also uh, bought some new magic. We've got fireballs, we've got uh, shield, we've got water walking, enchant, you know, trying to round out our abilities a little bit better. And then after wasting all that time in Freehaven trying to find an inn, we uh, came back to Bootleg Bay and we've been clearing it out much more effectively than our first attempt. And uh, I guess actually I missed a little bit over here. So we're going to do this before we go to the islands. I forgot about that. Uh, and first, of course, we're going to rest up. And we might as well wait till dawn just so you guys can see what's going on, okay? This place likes to be dark and misty all the time, but we'll be okay. So I'm um, also probably, as we start off, as usual, I'll open with a wizard bar. That way we'll be able to see treasures laying on the ground and, you know, more useful stuff in general. Ah, yeah, so for all of our running around, I always manage to actually miss the actual town of Bootleg Bay. There's a couple islands with stuff on it, but this is the actual town. So we'll start today's episode off by exploring this and, you know, talking to a couple people. Greetings. Why not? Or, never mind. They don't want to talk to us that bad. Greetings. Um, dark Containment? That sounds pretty sweet. Mmm, 11th spell. Ooh. Uh, I think it's from a different game. How are you? Think. Expert Chain, not that we need it. How are you? Expert Perception. I don't really remember coming here for expertise very often, so... Save yourself! <laughs> so this time we get the Goblin's Tooth in, and they're, uh... <laughs> they, uh... They're, it's kind of silly. We've got a Pirate one, and we've got a Goblin one. So Would you good. like to buy something? Alright, so here we get, uh... Various hammery type weapons, but... Also, that massive halberd could have got it here. But uh, I don't think there's anything better than what we've got right now. So, let's start selling stuff. We can't enchant weapons yet, so there's no point holding on to them. Um, so let's sell them off. Uh, I've also noticed Come there that again. I've still got... Uh, oh man, we got a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, let's pass it on. Let's pass the armor out of his inventory just so I've got more space. And scrolls can hide on the bottom or something. Just to, just to clear up a little bit of inventory room here. Because I've got lots of these big spear things that are... Oops. Ah, aha. Not even identified. So, uh, there we go. Weapons. Oops. Pick it up, push it to him. Identify aha. it, pick it up, give it to him. Give it to him. That's all the weapons. Yeah, that'll sell different. I don't know. Rings. I don't know. Uh, unidentified stuff obviously goes to the same person, so that's easy. Ah, I don't Cannot know. Cannot identify. Ooh. Could be good then. Could be good. Uh, everything no is still unidentified. We've got a lot of stuff to identify ah. here, even if they're just junky shields. Anyway, Would let's like quit something? wasting time and sell stuff. So we can't sell the wand, unfortunately. There we go. Oh, I should give. Uh, I almost sold that by accident. I don't like, know. Should try to identify this at least. Mm. Speed plus two. Yeah, we'll take that. For now, Pyro, you can have it. I, I might give it to someone else later. We'll see. Um, I was going to enchant that gothic amulet. See what we get. Uh, poison resistance. Already enchanted means we can't do much with it. We'll start giving shields to uh, the commander. Anything kind of small. And uh, start selling this stuff. If we can find an armor shop. And I hope we can find an armor shop. Do, do, do. Okay, kind of full of space there. Let's cast enchant item on our amulet. Woohoo! Success! Good job, Dawes. Speed plus nine. Well, you can have it. Good job, buddy. A little bit faster on the magic you are. Okay, little magic closed. shop. Closed. Of course it's closed. What you see is all I have. Uh, let's first off sell him, he can buy, yeah, they can buy things like rings, they can buy cloaks, uh, I think they can buy wands, look at all the money we're getting for this stuff. Ah, this is the good one, remember when I enchanted this last episode? We basically multiplied its value by like, I think it's times 10 or something, so it's pretty good to get antique. 
Um, we might not be able to sell it for full price yet, but, uh, you know, not bad. Probably should have kept that. All right. So now we're left with uh, just armor. And we will need to find an armor shop to sell most of this. I seem to remember in the game a lot of the times I don't even uh, pick up plate armor just because it's such a pain to carry around. It's worth a fair bit, but it takes up so much inventory space. So uh, in the future, I might end up not picking it up, you know, more often than not. Uh, by the way, Dawes, plus 20 might. Well, everyone can drink some of that. It's only temporary, but why not? It's fixed. Jet, fail again. Just click on some rocks. Oh wait, what's this over here? A larger fountain? Plus 20 spell points? What do you guys think? Do you feel lucky? Do you think that maybe this was the fountain of magic? It certainly recovers magic stuff. <laughs> Spoiler alert, yes, now we can go back to mist. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a difficult quest because no one really tells you anything about it. Did we drink from this? Well, yeah, that was the might or whatever. No one really tells you when you drank it, so you could spend a lot of time running around drinking from fountains and you'd never actually know if you How managed. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, sell all this stuff. Bam, 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 bam. Come back soon. Maybe try some more enchanting. It's fixed. Having a bit of a hard time on this plate mail. Really having a hard time with that. Fire resistance. Good. So we're almost done How selling you everything. How you doing? Made some good money. Come back it's Come fixed. back soon. We just cannot seem to enchant this plate mail. Is it already enchanted? It's fixed. No, it's not. We're just having bad luck. There we go. There we go. So what do we get? Plus six armor class? Um, you know what? We'll take it. We'll, we'll switch off with the, uh, with the int intellect plate mail because it's kind of silly to have intellect... Uh, intellect and personality. I mean, um, certainly, Commander could use some personality. No offense, but... Uh, <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Um, yeah, let's just sell it. We'll be fine. Okay, do they sell anything good here, by the way? We already have pretty good steel chain mail for Pyro, so no worries there. We do have fancy hats, but we can't even enchant them. I, someone commented the fancy hats look good. I think Pyro, that was you. Um, as much as they are nice, no armor class, so uh, it's a little bit disappointing. Anything else we could buy somewhat on the cheap? Mm, nothing I'm really Come excited about. Soon. Bootleg Bay doesn't really have great what you see is all I you have. Know, armor and stuff. Um, I will pick up some more of these potions because one of these days we're going to go a little bit more enchanty. You know, actually, I forgot. We need a couple of these better helmets. Um, we need better boots and we need better helmets. So, Because um, some people are still wearing like normal helms. So I'll pick those up. We'll also pick up some of these uh, these things. All right. Thanks. So maybe Come next again. episode, uh, Dawes will continue uh, brewing because it looks like we're getting loaded up on potions again. Okay. So I should be able to enchant these, right? Four sixty. Yeah. Like you notice, I've still got leather boots on two of us, so we need some more uh, good ones like these steel boots. And I've still got, well, for one, we have a hat that has no I no armor class, but that's okay. It's got intellect failed. Come on, Dawes. Come on, buddy. Get that spell off. Oh, two fails in a row. House of Healing. Can we help you? Oh, that's the temple for here. here. That's fine. Have a nice day. How are you? We've got Spellmaster. Actually, you know, How I think Spellmasters were pretty good. Oh, four points? Never mind. We can get better than plus four. How are you? A quest? Alright, so this is the te quest to go to the Temple of the Fist. Um, they uncovered a powerful evil crystal, and we're supposed to destroy it. Okay, that's a quest. I'm not sure how easy it is, but uh, we do know where the Temple of Fist is. Also, we could uh, train up, I think. Oops. Sorry, got to repair them first. I think we have to. Back for another look. Good job. Might as well train up. Why not? Oh, come on, Dawes. Come on, buddy. You gotta get those. Uh, those uh, checks done. You gotta manage to. Nice to see you. Gotta manage to. Uh, Hello. To succeed. No, it didn't. I don't think it works if things are uh, broken. Okay, so we've definitely explored all the mainland here. Oops. 
It's fixed. Do, do cast a check. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Can't be that hard. You only have a 60% chance of failing. There we go. There we go. So we got endurance. Not bad. Not bad. Um, it's better than nothing, right? So we'll give the cleric Pyro, you get the cool winged helmet. That's pretty fun, right? It's fixed. And we'll try one more time. There you go. Good job, Dawes. You got it. Plus seven spell points. Well, it's not bad. Okay. Actually, you know, that makes more sense for uh, the commander because um, he has a hard time getting a lot of spell points. By virtue of being a paladin, he doesn't get a very high spell point pool mostly. You know, you can see. So plus seven actually is a good thing for him. Okay, and now we can sell our old How helmets. How you doing? Quick, How you doing? Quick, quick. And uh, actually, you know, I should identify that ring. Soon. We need to go back here. Forgot about that. Do, do, do. Give it to the cheaper, the the merchant. What you see is all I have. Let's identify. And it's nothing. So all we can really do with that in. is, well, enchant it. So um, might as well. Failed. Come on, Dawes. Gotta get this There's all. Nothing I can do. Oh no! I can do. <laughs> its value is high enough that he can't repair what you see it. Is all I have. So we'd have to pay 180 every time to do Thanks. that. There you go. Whew, that was. I was not really excited about doing that very often. Plus six hit points. Barely worth your time. Let's just sell it. Well, no. Never mind. I changed my mind. Dawes has low HP, so plus six. Um, you know, it's 10% more than he used to have. Alright. Okay, enough messing around. I guess there's one more thing. We've got skill points. Let's, uh... Let's see here. What do I want to spend them on right now? Um... Dawes certainly could get more MP or spell points, I guess. We could get leather, or we could make our fireball better. <laughs> yeah, I think a couple points into fire. Just to get up to 6 or 7 would be nice. Um, what have we got here? Pyro. Certainly some armor would be nice. More skill points would be nice, or spell points would be nice. Identification is still kind of a weakness. Let's, let's put a point in there. I think I'll do the same thing here, actually. Let's put one more point into disarm. And one more point into perception. And we'll worry about combat a little bit later, but I am—I think we're at the point where we're starting to fail disarm, identify, and repair checks. So it's time to start upgrading those skills a little bit, if we can. It's generally how I play. Once you start failing, then you actually upgrade them. Anyway, for the rest of this episode, we're going to clear out the last couple islands, and then we're going to go back to Mist and get uh, some superpowers. Oh, we could rest. Alright. Just so we've got max skill. Or max, max All right, a little bit dangerous standing in the water here, I will admit. But uh, we should be okay. Shield up. Shields up, Captain. Much less getting killed by archers. Hopefully. Maybe uh, some fireballs will help speed this up. Not bad. Um... Yeah, we'll cast another fireball, why not? There you go. Hopefully we don't uh, lose our water walking right in the middle here. I need to make up a little bit more room first. Fireball. There you go. We're fine, guys. Nothing to worry about. Come on. There we go. All's clear. Got a crossbow from that one, too. Woo! Little island. Clear. Uh, there's another one over there. Uh, I think. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. There might be stuff in the northwest. Or north... Yeah, that's northwest. So. Let's kill these guys. Maybe some fire. Some fire to the party. Come on. There we go. Oh dear. There was more of them than I thought. Good. Another island clear, I think. Now, if you're wondering, there actually is a way to tell if a rock is going to be a treasure or not. 
I'm not going to spoil it until I find another one, but just keep in mind the word rock, how it's spelled on screen. The next time I find a treasure one, you might be able to tell the difference. Uh, okay, there's definitely something to the north. Our water walking has run out. On the off chance that this is the actual fountain, let's drink from that. Oh, personality potion. Woo! Um, or fountain. So anyone with less than 14 personality, i.e. War Raider and uh, Dawsocles, can get some bonus out of this. So we'll just alternate. And now we're out of things. So we could have got another drink for War Raider. Uh, and I think Dawes might be at his max already. But we only get so many drinks per month. So that's just what you get from that one. That's kind of cool. Found another one of those. A uh, little bit concerned I'm going to run out of water walking along here. Uh, been there already. Let's head to the north. This we're actually gonna. I'm gonna reset that spell because we don't really have the longest duration for our water magic just yet. And drowning in the ocean, you know, not so nice. Um, yeah, we can keep going. Let's keep going. So there's a little island here with nothing on it apparently. Just lots of little islands. Okay. I was hoping I could hit them from like right here or something. Oh, well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Cast ye old fireball. Kill them all. Heh. <laughs> what is that over there? A pedestal. I wonder if that does anything exciting. Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. You're getting beat up a little bit here. I'm sure you'll be fine. There we go. Alright. Clean this up. Um, check for rocks and trees and stuff. So let's see, what is what do you think this is gonna do? Let's just save it, because I can't really remember myself. Oh, it's one of those you have to put something on type pedestals. Right. I do kind of remember that happening every now and then. Looks like we're gonna have to use up two food this time. That'll be okay. Okay. And there might be a couple more islands, so let's finish this place off. We gotta map it all out. Lots of archers over there, by the looks of things. Maybe I should have cast shield ahead of time. So one of the tactics, now that we've got fireball, is I'm actually going to spend a lot of my archers' turns shooting um, people on the fringes, the edges of the group, because the uh, fireball will take care of the large group, especially as we get more points in fire. So um, that's kind of cool. Oh, a shrine, cool. So this is, by the way, the Shrine of Might. So if we come here on the right month, this is where you go for Might. Uh, I guess we should go south, just to see if there's anything this way. We might be done, though. I think we found all the important stuff. Probably. Is that an island? Have we been there? That's the tip of uh, the main one. Okay, so we've. I think we've successfully cleared Bootleg Bay. The map is basically full. I'm satisfied. We've learned about a couple new dungeons. We've got a couple quests. But for now, I want to go back to Mist and talk to our old buddy. Our old buddy, old pal. Am I on double speed? No, I was on double speed. We're going to go talk to this guy. Or Dawes is, anyway. Oh, his grace, Albert so, Newton, how about that wizard Marquis quest? Mist Did we find the right fountain yet? Of Indeed you have. You have done well in finding the fountain. Its location and powers are a secret. Do not spread its location around. Sorry, so everyone forget what I told you. Now let me show you the secrets of the wizard. <laughs> so anyway, we finished that. Now, what about being an archmage? That sounds cool. Your training does not end with what you have learned as a wizard. One final step remains. Archmage status. Complete your mastery of elemental magic. Building on your wizard training, Archmages have vast magical ability, the most efficient and skilled use of magic anywhere. Earning this training requires a powerful artifact, owned by the powerful Archmage Drail. No. Was it Frondir? No, that's not right either. Actually, I can't seem to remember what the artifact was, or who owned it. I remember if I saw it, though. I know it can be found in Corlegon's estate, near the Mire of the Damned. Search for it there, and return. I must have it to train you to become an Archmage. Ha <laughs> ha! So we do know where that estate is, and I said it's pretty dangerous. 
and it has a powerful Archmage guarding it, so maybe we should be a little bit higher level. Mind you, it's a good place to go if we want to become the Archmage. Um, so yeah, that's that. So what do we get for that? Well, for one, we now have an award for received promotion, which is worth something. And Dozocles the Wizard will now have quite a few more spell points. I believe it's now plus one per level or something, whatever it was from before. Like if it, you, if it was four per level, now it's higher. And potentially meditation gives him more as well. I can't remember exactly, but I mean, more skill points, spell points, means more fireballs. So it's a good thing. It's one of the easiest promotion quests. It's probably the easiest promotion quest because all you had to do is drink from one of those fountains. You probably could have got there without killing an enemy if you really wanted. Also, looks like we can train up for another level. Turning those in does give you a lot of it. Back for another level. Good job. Good so, uh, job. Level 13 for everyone. Woohoo! This time, what do I want to spend our points on? Um, I think getting plate expert is a priority. And... Uh, Luckily, War Raider has a lot of freedom with what he sp spends his points on, so I can sort of train up whatever. Bodybuilding will certainly give him more HP, more than anyone else, so let's get that up to Expert. Uh, he has the best, uh, Knights get the best uh, hit point boost from bodybuilding. Now, the Commander, he's got, he still needs to learn some magic one of these days, but I will get Plate up, and maybe now we'll start working on Spirit. I think I'm going to get him up to spirit first. He can learn the spirit magic. And Pyro can stick with, well, whatever else. Um, as much as I would like more identification, let's go shield and chain. Try to get expert level for all the basic stuff for now. And Dawes, well, well, you know, fire. Level 6. I'm not sure how much higher I'll take it for now, but that gets you, um, if you're wondering... Fireball will do uh, level 6, so 6 to 36 damage to the group, um, which is pretty darn good. So, there you go. Uh, do I have anything to sell? Mm. Couple sort of lousy crossbows. That's about it. Alright, so we've got a bit of time left. Now, what's at this point, I'm probably going to start clearing out some more dungeons. Um, oh, that was risky. I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> We might be able to get some more spells here. You never know. Uh, the magic of um, protection from electricity. You know, we might as well load up on some of them. That's pretty cheap. Uh, shield we've got. Lightning bolt we don't have. Ah, let's pick it up. Why not? So, a couple more spells for Dawes. Okay. Loading them up. Okay. Once you've got them, then we have the options at least. So, yeah, look. That air is almost... We're only missing four more. So, we've got all the low-level stuff. So we can, if we're getting killed by electric spells, we can boost that up a little bit now. Uh, fire's almost done. I think that's protection from fire, so we can pick that up. Fire, the magic of this protection from fire, pretty cheap, no big deal. I think we've got everything else we can get from uh, Mist. They won't have any higher level spells for us. Water, magic of Water, I guess we'll pick up the protection spell again. We didn't have poison spray yet. Ice Bolt. I don't think we had that either. Okay, that'll do. So, Dawes, you are okay. just the magic man. Yes. Okay. Master yes. of elemental spells. We are missing one. Protection from... What would it be? Wizard's Eye, Torchlight... What is that spell? Did I miss it? Magic of Poison Spray. Cold Beam might be it. Is that the one I don't have? No, I've got cold beam. Sorry, I just can't remember which one we're missing. We've got protection from cold. Awaken. Ah, yeah, that spell. Okay, that's not bad. Yes. So Dawes will have the spell. If everybody's asleep, he can wake people up. Hey, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that covers lots of our basic magic. Uh, I still need to buy body and spirit and all those spells eventually, but uh, we'll get to them later. So let's go. Um, we're not going to do brewing just yet. I could try to clear the silver helm outpost. I'm not sure. Well, let's give it a shot. It's in mist. I did say mist wasn't super dangerous. Uh, at least we have fireballs. It says something, right? So there's a couple quests for this place, right? We have um, 
Let's just see, where is it? Potentially a damsel in distress, you never know. Somewhere around mist, they said. And also something else. A well, crystal of Tarax, they actually identify what we need to get. Um, we're supposed to clear the Silverhelm outpost for, or find evidence of their corruption for the constable here. So that's kind of what I'll try. This small post acts as an advanced base for the Fraternal Order of Silver. From here, they are able to patrol mist in their conquest of evil, except that they are fairly corrupt. Alright, let's save it. Feeling about this place. Yeah, let's be a little bit careful here. Definitely be careful. I'm glad I've got fireballs. What have we got? Oh, also, let's start off with torchlight. Look how much brighter everything is. And also, wizard's eye. Aha. See. Yeah, alright. So, what do we fight here? Lieutenants, yeah, okay. So, these guys aren't going to be as easy as uh, something. So, lightning bolt, by the way, is a good spell. It's a good single target spell, I think. Um, 1 to 8 is pretty good. It's, I mean, per point it gets you more damage than fireball we just don't have our air skill as high so you know now if we're going to be fighting just one at a time though I will stick with the lower MP firebolt does cost a lot less come on guys 23 damage good shot war raider yeah kill him alright not bad one at a time that guy's not too scary but there is a couple more in here. Alright, run to the corner, pause. Oh, he followed us pretty quick. Alright. Come on, guys. Not, not bad. I definitely wouldn't want to be swarmed by these kind of enemies, but I think one at a time we're okay. There you go. I haven't taken too much damage. Eh, let's just do it like this. There you go. Not bad. We are doing a lot of damage with our attacks now, which is nice. So there you go. And for our troubles, we get purple liquid. What does purple liquid do? I cannot remember. Purple liquid grants you speed. Woohoo! I'll give it to uh, the commander. I think it's been a while since he's got a speed item. Uh, is that everything in here? Boo. All right, one room clear. Yay. <laughs> I need to get our body magic better so we can do better healing. I am going to be saving a lot in this dungeon because I think we can get swarmed and killed a lot easier than the previous dungeon. And I remember this room being dangerous, so I'm just going to be edging up ever so slightly. Monks, welcome to the first proper magic users we're going to run into. I'm not sure if I can hit them through this. Alright, this guy's out in the open. Let's open with a fireball. They may start having resistances at this point, but 30 damage is pretty good. Come on, you guys. 12 hits. Ouch. Yeah, they're going to be casting a lot of spells on us, so let's go all out with the magic. Try to kill them as quick as we can. Another fireball, I think. There you go. Good job, Dawes. Now there's looks like, according to the map, there's lots more. So let's uh, let's run away a little bit. All right, we're healed. As soon as they come around that corner, we're gonna start killing them. So we're in a pretty good spot here. Um, expert swordsman, yeah. We're gonna start running into some fairly dangerous monsters or humanoids, I guess you'd call them. Come on, you guys. Cannot miss. Got to kill these guys before they get up close. They do a fair bit of damage. And expert swordsmen, there, sh there are like normal swordsmen. There you go. I think the experts are the level 2. Tier 2. So you definitely want to be a little bit careful around here. The, uh, the enemies aren't to be trifled with. Swordsmen aren't too bad, sure. But uh, guards, okay. So guards are the weaker version of the lieutenant that we already fought. And the weakest levels of these guys aren't too bad. Just like the weakest level of the monks. Not the super scariest. Yeah. Tougher than the thugs and bandits and stuff we've been fighting. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There you go. Good job, Dawes. Jaws, you're like the MVP these days with all your magic. Pretty good. And the daggers aren't bad either, so... There you go. 
The biggest weakness, of course, for the sorcerers is the uh, lack of uh, armor and hit points. So the fact that he can do good damage is great. It's just you got to be really cautious that he doesn't get killed. All right. So we've got a lot of rooms. Each one has a bunch of enemies, I think. So we're going to have to go through this just slowly and carefully. And we're definitely not going to finish this dungeon on for today's episode. But I will do at least one of these halls. Or that is to say, I'll try. So we got a lot of monks. Get him rested up. Turn around and shoot. It's kind of one of your smarter strategies for these guys is to... Uh, Hop in, get a couple shots in, back out. And being able to get melee attacks is pretty good too. You do a lot more damage overall, I find. I mean, you know, our weapons do so much more damage than our arrows. It's just... It's just ranged is so useful. Okay, I think we can clear these guys out. We should be okay. Let's, uh, let's do a fireball. I think there's someone hiding over there. There we go. Come on. Oh, don't die now, Dawes. You'll be okay. Cure wounds, maybe? Yeah, and more cure wounds. This guy's hiding around the corner, so couldn't quite hit him anyway. There we go. Good deal. A bit more healing. We're probably going to have to come back and forth for this dungeon. I think it's fairly long, so I'll probably end up having to, like, uh, go back to the inn and rest and stuff. Wow. Okay, that's a master monk. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to be really painful, actually. Shoot. Hopefully we don't run into too many of those things. About over this direction. I'm trying to see what's around the corner. Right, so that's just a normal... Well, initiative one. Still pretty tough. Ha ha ha! We got him now. Master Monks are really tough. These guys have so many HP. Uh, it's going to take you a while to kill them. So uh, I'm going to use my old little trick here. And again, it's a little bit cheap, but uh, these things are so difficult. They've got some pretty good spells. Can I get this guy too? Yeah, we can just get into melee range. Beautiful. All right. I think I will wrap this episode up with this room. So, good job, guys. You've managed to clear a dungeon, or, sorry, not a dungeon, a, a room. I don't think there's anything in here, though. Maybe a secret door by the looks of the map, but uh, I'm not quite sure how to open it right now. Maybe a switch or something. Do oh, you guys see any switches? Yeah, according to the map, there's going to be an opening over there, but I think that's it for now. All right, so... What have we learned? We've learned that this is going to be a tough dungeon. It's going to take a couple episodes, probably. So maybe back here, you can rest. And we'll continue our adventures next time um, with more fireballs, to be sure. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and have a great day.